what is up guys your name is tito back with another video and today in this video i am going to review the resurrection remix rom on the redmi note 5 pro so without further any more delay let's make it happen so first let me talk about how to flash this rom and what problems you might face well you have to have a unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed, official TWRP and I will recommend you flashing the MIUI 8.1 based which I did a video on, I will link a card over here and flash that ROM first then you can flash any other custom ROM like Resurrection Remix 8.1 builds and stuff like that because on the latest builds if you are coming from the 7.1 MIUI you might face some problems with Wi-Fi and stuff and Vault TE so point number one you have to come from 8.1 based MIUI otherwise you might face problems with uh, Vault DE or Wi-Fi so that's that and now let's talk about the performance in this ROM well the performance have been pretty great no hiccups or no stutters I faced in this ROM and never faced any boot loop or something like that it's still an official build but it's pretty stable in my opinion at least if you are curious about the benchmarks and stuff here are the Android and Geekbench scores on this ROM. By the way guys, this Redmi Note 5 Pro here is a 4GB 64GB variant. If you are wondering, here is the RAM management in this ROM if you are into that. Just notice the app open up speeds here. Alright, so now let me fast forward the clip to save you some time. As you can see, all the apps are in memory, so no issues with memory management over here. And in recent apps panel, we have this lock option over here to keep one or more than one specific apps in memory even if you clear all the apps as you can see it's still in memory here is the free ram status over here as you can see you can't simply remove this app from the memory if you have locked it and around 1240 mb of ram is available after clearing all the apps from memory and this is the 4gb ram variant by the way Yes, there are some bugs in this ROM like the notification LED, we have option for it but it really doesn't work for me. So that's that, it never turns on while charging or if you receive a notification, the LED simply doesn't work at least for now. And if I have to talk about the audio output, I would say the audio is simply much lesser if you compare it to MIUI but don't get me wrong, it's pretty loud enough. But yeah, it's pretty tiny if you compare it to the stock MIUI. Like I am talking about everything like in call volume, the loudspeaker volume etc. But in this ROM what I have noticed, the audio via the headphone jack is pretty much bass heavy. If you are a bass head, you would really love it. And in this ROM we have audio effects built in and with audio effects it gets you pretty bass heavy sound. If you like that, you would really love it. But guys, I have to share with you something that my unit has some problems with the headphone jack that it simply can't record properly audio with the headphone jack. If I connect any headphone and try to record any sound or if I connect my Boya M1 with the headphone, I have said it already previously. If you guys have been following me, you should know that my unit has some problems with the headphone jack. I don't know if I can fix that from the service center right now because I have custom ROMs on it. So let's see. Now let's talk about the cameras. Well portrait mode on both of the cameras front and rear is not simply working as of now but if you flash camera to API and then you flash mods like Google camera GC mod 5 or something like that the portrait mode might work. I have seen in some telegram groups that it's working with Google camera mods after enabling camera to API but with stock resurrection remix ROM or any other custom ROMs it's simply not working as of now let's see we have to see ourselves that what happens in the future 
As of now, the portrait mode simply doesn't work. Yes, I did click some pictures in this ROM. Here are some demos. I don't know if I am recalling it correctly, but this ROM has Cyanogen mod camera in it. So it's pretty customizable and the front camera works as 20 megapixel and the rear camera is 12 megapixels so that's that but as of now the portrait mode simply doesn't work now let me talk about the battery life well if you are wondering about the battery life it's insanely good well i got like 11 hours of screen on time here are some screenshots for you like you see that it's pretty much amazing and I did game in this ROM, I played PUBG in this ROM, but I faced some glitches here and there. But yeah, it's not as stable as MIUI. There are some frame drops or stuff like that. But I think MIUI plays PUBG on this phone a little bit better. So if you are into that, you just have to stick with MIUI. Here are the about section in this ROM. As you can see, this is the 17th April 2018 build by the way. As you can see, based on Android 8.1 audio of course. Security patch is of April 5th 2018. Here is the kernel version, build number and SLinux status is permissive here. And here is the display settings. We have adaptive brightness working, so which is auto brightness actually. Night mode is working fine as you can see. You can control color calibration in depth which is working fine here, so no issues with that. And from style, you can change the UI color to dark and change the accent color too. As you can see, the whole UI color changed to dark. And we have these many color options for accent color. You can change the display size, font size, etc. from here. Ambient display is there. I think it's working fine, but I have not tested it. We have tap to wake option over here, but that simply doesn't work as you can see. VO LTE 4G data is working fine as of now, but even here too, native video calling is simply not working. So I don't know when it will be fixed on Redmi Note 5 Pro. It's the same problem which has been there for the Redmi Note 3. I don't know when it will be fixed, but here we have a problem with the native video calling too. Now let me talk about face unlock in this ROM. Well, it's not working because there is no trusted face option in settings. Well, it used to work and I have seen it working. I had set it up with the previous builds of Reception Remix when it was based on 7.1 I don't know if it's the problem with gapps I will later try to flash another gapps I, I have flashed micro gapps by the way on this guy this is the 14th April build of micro gapps but I don't know why it's not there simply I can't see the trusted face option in smart lock so that's that it used to work previously so there is a problem again one more problem that I have seen myself that some apps doesn't take advantage of the full screen like on the bottom there is a black bar right here so that's a problem some apps doesn't really work with the full screen and there is no option in this ROM to enable full screen mode for each apps but yeah YouTube app works pretty well with the 18-9 and 16-9 videos so that there is no problem with that so here are some features and customizations of this ROM, I'll show you one by one. Inside configuration, we have all the customizations of Restriction Remix as usual. From clock and date, you can customize clock position, AM, PM style, font size, date style and a hell lot more. Next we have network traffic. Yes, it's working fine, but I use Internet Speed Meter app, so that's why I disabled it. After that, we have notification ticker. Then we have battery. From here, of course, you can customize battery icon or enable battery bar if you want that. 
Now let me go back. We have status bar weather. Next we have system icons. From here you can enable VoLTE and 4G icon instead of LTE and show roaming indicator etc. From status bar gestures we can control brightness by sliding a finger on the status bar. And there are quite a lot of ways to double tap to sleep in this ROM so I love it. Like double tap to sleep in the status bar, double tap to sleep on the lock screen, double tap to sleep on the navigation bar. I mean the blank area of the navigation bar which works pretty well. Next we have carrier label and after that we have system UI tuner, we have system icons over there like headset, bluetooth etc. From panels you can enable header image if you want that and from here you can customize the volume panel. You can change power menu opacity if you want that and we do have advanced reboot option just in case you are wondering. And here are some extra notification customizations. In quick settings panel we have quick pull down and you can customize each panel column and row numbers. We have option to scroll for small quick toggles, show or hide title option and some other options present here. In advanced we have easy tile add option which does this, vibrate on touch toggles etc is present here. From recents we can enable this clear all button and memory bar. And you can even further customize this clear all button from here. So that's that. And we do have slim recents option if you are into that. In general UI we have the memory bar option. In interface we have fingerprint settings, blur options, display size settings again and DPI changing option. You can enable or disable heads up if you want that volume panel and sound customizations again. In call we do have vibrate on connect option and some other options for vibration. In misc we have three finger screenshot gesture which does work fine as you can see. Next we have some lock screen customizations. Yes face auto unlock option is there but no trusted face in smart unlock. I do not know why and we have other customizations for lock screen. In lock UI we have battery info showing option while charging which does work and some more features. Next we have buttons. From here you can enable advanced reboot. And you can customize the button actions if you want. From navigation bar, I am using smart bar. And as you can see, I have changed the recents and back key to the opposite side. And the home button pixel like animation looks cool. And I set it to random colors as you can see. Note that you can customize these three buttons like hell and the possibilities are endless. Moving on to animations. You can customize the whole UI animation from here and again the possibilities are endless over here too. But the most interesting thing according to me here is the screen of animations. Here are the CRT, default and scale animation for you. Next we have gestures. You can set custom actions for each custom gestures. And we have app circle bar as you can see. And you have pie control. You can check system updates from here as you can see. If you have been a custom ROM user in the past, this one is pretty much a 100% you can want in Redmi Note 5 Pro. And if you are okay with the problems that I mentioned in this video, this ROM is pretty much a go-to for you. 
what do you think let me know in the comments down below if you flash it or not all the important links will be listed in the description box below to flash this rom so that wraps up this video guys thank you so much for watching hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work this has been tito and i will see you in the next one before i say bye bye well redmi note 3 videos will be coming shortly i have bought this device and i am really loving it so that's why i am really making videos about the redmi note 5 pro but i will be making redmi note 3 videos too do not worry guys just stay there and keep calm i will be doing videos about the redmi note 3 too so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching guys this is bentiro i'll see you in the next one and bye bye now